हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुधा रंजी फ्रॉम सिंजी कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च कोपरगांव डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मेकोकनेसी एंड फाइटोकेमिस्ट्री फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी सी डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ ऑल्डिहाइड कंटेंट्स सो अप टिल नाउ वी हैव सीन द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द अल्कोहल कंटेंट देन डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द फिनॉल कंटेंट लाइकवाइज अ टोटल अल्कोहलाइड कंटेंट ओके सो दिस इज समवट अ न्यू एक्सपेरिमेंट इज देयर इन व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिटरमाइन द ऑल्डिहाइड कंटेंट ऑल्डिहाइड एंड केटोन दीज आर द केमिकल कंपोनेंट व्हिच आर बी प्रेजेंट इन केस ऑफ द कार्बोहाइड्रेट सो इन दिस केस वी आर गोइंग टू टेक वन ऑफ द इंपोर्टेंट सैंपल इज देयर दैट इज अ हनी so friends for this experiment we required volumetric flask then conical flask then beverage then ready made honey which is to be available honey is there is to be obtained from the nectar of the flowers whereas the honey bees collect that one honey from the different type of the flowers <coughs> sorry there are the variety of the flowers are there so uh, depends on the flowers the content may vary so that the concentration in case of this one honey is also plays an important role so honey it contain the different type of the chemical components such as the carbohydrate which is the most common one then monosaccharides are there then glucose fructose is there then other sugars are there that are along with the enzymes are there then lactone wax pigments are there then vitamins amino acids mineral organic acids and the pollen grains these are the various type of the components are there that are to be present in case of the honey and that is to be utilized in case of this one determination of the alcohol aldehyde contents are there so friends in this case just we see <coughs> just uh, collect one beaker of 100 ml capacity to that one beaker you have to transfer near about 10 gram of the honey which is to be available in a market and just uh, 10 gram of the honey is there should be transfer to that one you are going to add near about 75 ml of the water is there is to be added okay then uh, the volume is there is to be rise to this one and then to that one we are going to add Five drop of the alcoholic phenolphthalein solution is there is to be added. Then, and once this phenolphthalein five drop of the phenolphthalein is there is to be added, then we have to place this one on a magnetic stirrer. The the stirring is there should be carried out to have a uniform mixing of that one particular mixture where the uh, honey, water, and phenolphthalein is there is to be mixed up with each other properly. Uh, to that one we are going to add uh, sodium hydroxide solution uh, 0.1 normal uh, sodium hydroxide solution is there should be added to maintain a ph of about 8.5 means alkaline ph is there is to be maintained once uh, alkaline ph is there is to be maintained what is the mixture is there is to be mixed up by using a magnetic stirrer to have a uniformity in the mixture is there then Uh, to that one we are going to add again 0.1 normal naoh uh, 10 to have a ph of 10 ml of the uh, 0.1 normal naoh solution is there should be added to have a ph about 10 means once you have to match the ph uh, 8.5 you are going to add 10 ml of the sodium hydroxide because of which the ph uh, from 8.5 is changes to 10 then what is the mixture is there that is to be titrated by utilizing 0.1 normal scl 0.1 normal scl solution is there should be used for the titration to make to change or to reverse the ph from 10 to 8.3 then in this case how much quantity of the uh, hydrochloric acid 0.1 normal hydrochloric acid is required uh, to change to have a change of the ph from 10 to 8.3 that you have to note down which is to be utilized to calculate the total acidity so free acidity is equal to the corrected volume of the naoh which is to be spain multiplied by 10 so what is the volume is there which is to be required to change the ph uh, to 8.5 that you have to be noted down uh, then the lactone acidity is there that is the 10 minus the corrected volume of the scl which is to be spain to reverse the acidity multiplied by 10 <coughs> uh, 
so the total acidity is equal to free acidity plus lactone acidity is there that the combination of these two that gives you the total acidity so acl corrected uh, is equal to volume of the acl which is to be spain multiplied by the correction factor so these are the NaOH correction, ACL correction we see. Now NaOH corrections, volume of the NaOH, which is to be Spain, multiplied by correction factor. <coughs> Sorry. Now the next one is there, that is a formaldehyde contents are there. This is the most important is there. Once you have to reach the pH up to the 10, when you are going to add 0.1 normal ACL, uh, pH is returns to uh, from 10 to 8.3. Uh, once you are getting the pH 8.3, you are going to add, uh, <coughs> reduce the pH against to uh, 8 by utilizing 0.1 normal acetic acid solution is there that is we use, uh, which is to be added to this one particular mixture. 0.1 normal acetic acid is there should be added. And after that one, we are going to add 5 ml of 35% formalin solution is added into this one. How much? 5 ml of the 35% when, uh, when you get a pH about 8.3, then you are going to add 0 0.1 normal acetic acid to reach a pH up to 8, then 5 ml of the 35% formalin is there is to be added then it is to be uh, titrated <coughs> agitate it for one minute to have a uniform mixing just like that the mixing is there is to be carried out and after that it is to be titrated by utilizing uh, 0.1 normal anyway solution return to ph 8 so note the volume of the NaOH which is to be required in the last titration. So the formaldehyde content <coughs> is equal to corrected volume of NaOH 0.1 normal which is to be spent multiplied by 10 ml per kg minus 1. This is the formula either just you have to put that value in this one you will get the aldehyde content how much aldehyde contents are present in your sample. So friend, if you are new to this one channel, request you to give likes to my video and subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you.